what's up everybody? Um, I know I haven't made a video in a while, so I thought I'd make a video since I actually did pick up one of my grails, and I'll show it at the very end of my video. Um, I know I've made an Iverson video, shout out to Throwback King, shout out to Mighty Fan, all the Philly fans. Um, I've made, of course, my Kobe video, shout out to all my LA guys, G Meister, uh, who else we got, Pistol, 2 on 3rd. Um, of course, RM Forever, shout out to you guys. Um, so I wanted to make my MJ video. Um, I have a couple of the jerseys already that uh, everybody ha else has shown, so I'm not going to go into detail too much on these jerseys, just because you probably already heard uh, everything uh, before it. But I do have uh, my Nike rookie year... Uh, Michael Jordan, this is not an authentic, even though it is kind of built as an authentic. Um, I almost call this the hybrid jersey just because of uh, the stitching on here with the, on, on the twill. Uh, it's going to be double stitch on here, double stitch on the numbers, even though the rookie year was actually going to be screen printed on there. I still like, the, of course, the color of the jersey. There's the tag. It's a Nike one, of course, size 40. And on the back... The reason why I also call it the hybrid is because the back is actually totally wrong. This is the back of this almost looks like how uh, they built the jersey uh, after after I want to say what year? I think after the ninety three ninety four season where they added the the black and white onto the name rather than just the white screen print, but. Overall, if you see this from the back, you would think it's probably like a 95, 96, or 94 through uh, to how it is now. Um, but, uh, of course, now it has a little bull head right on here, but I still like this jersey. It's, uh, it's still a classic, especially on how it says Chicago. So, there's my uh, rookie year. And you can never go wrong with just an all-white one. It's, uh, of course, bulls double-stitched on everything on here. Uh, Nike tag. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be uh, from a specific year or anything, but can never go wrong with the white Michael Jordan jersey. It's still really nice to wear. Um, what else? And, of course, uh, I also picked up uh, the bullet jersey. This one is one of my favorite jerseys. I don't really get to wear this one much, just because it's still kind of hard to to rock this one. I'd say, um, but one of my favorite designs as far as a jersey or coming from an actual retro jersey. Uh, it's very clean. We got the bullets. Um, of course, they would be the Washington Wizards, and yeah, the stitching on here is really nice. I know I need to get this little stain off, but. Here's the jock tag, Nike, size 44. Backside, triple stitched on the numbering, single stitched on the Jordan on the back. This brings me back to uh, the good old early 2000 days of rap. <laughs> and okay, so here's a jersey that I have not seen anybody uh, put out a video on. Uh, I've had this jersey for a while. Um, it was, it was one of my favorite jerseys back in school, but oops, uh, it's going to be my North Carolina uh, Jordan jersey. There's, there is a reason why I actually do like this one a lot. Uh, North Carolina wore this particular jersey with the NC logo for one year, and I guess it didn't really <laughs> do too well. From the classic design of where uh, where it says North Carolina and then the number in the middle, um, it's, it is still one of the only teams that uses the argyle design on the on the on the sides of the jersey. And of course, it says Jordan. Everything on here is going to be printed on the jersey, so very lightweight. One of the I think one of the first Jordan branded jerseys, as as far as that goes. Um, here's the old Jack tag. But I haven't seen this one shown off at a, on anybody else's uh, 
on anybody else's videos, but there are my uh, jerseys from that. Um, the reason also that I really like that uh, jersey is because this. Give me one second. View of my room. Okay, so here we go. One of the main reasons why I actually really like that jersey is because, of course, we got Maya from her uh, Fear of Flying and, uh, what was it, the backstage, uh, backstage that uh, Jay-Z documentary of, uh, of the Hard Knock Life tour. Uh, I got this poster a long time ago. It's Maya. And, oh my gosh, she's wearing... Let me get that out. But yeah, she's rocking the jersey. And if you've seen the video of Best of Me, the remix with Jay-Z and Maya, you'll actually see both of them wearing the North Carolina jersey that they have, that I have. So that's one other reason that I do love that jersey so much. Can't go wrong with mine either. And also, just to share with you guys, I also do have uh, one thing in my collection that I think is really cool. Uh, this is, of course, the last shot of Jordan in the Bulls jersey. And... Here's a little certificate of authenticity of game use floor from that game of the, at the Delta Center. So it's a little swatch of that purple part of the floor. I'm not too sure exactly where, but certificate of authenticity of a piece of the floor from the final shot right here. So there are my uh, Jordan stuff, and I will get to this right here. This I just picked up right now. This is part of my grail. So I will show this to you in one sec. Here is my package. Um, some of you guys know I'm really big into art and uh, if you see my previous video, my Kobe video, you should have already seen that I have a Shepherd Fairy piece uh, from Kobe Bryant's MVP season. It's a... Uh, it was a pretty much a portrait piece. That one was uh, limited to 1,000. There, there were a couple different variations of that one piece, but um, the one that I do have was just a regular print. It's a uh, number 277 out of 1,000. And so what I have here, um, I've actually been looking for a while. I saw it on a, on a site with a good price on it, so... I had to jump on it, so let me see if I can get this thing open. Okay, so I actually had a little issue <laughs> with actually getting the poster out. Um, mainly because I tried to put it in the frame that I that I bought, but um, yeah, here it is. Here's my uh, Michael Jordan uh, screen print from Shepherd Fairy. Uh, this one is numbered. Uh, there you go. This one's numbered 103 out of 123. Here's a little stamp right there showing that it's, uh, I guess, legit. And on the side of it is actually uh, signed by Shepherd Fairy 09. They, there were three different pieces of this. Uh, there was this one. There was going to be one from his uh, North Carolina uh, uniform. And there was one more with just kind of just like a portrait, just like um, my Kobe Bryant one uh, right there. But uh, here it is. Uh, they did say it was 24 by 36, which would have fit this right here. But on this archival paper, um, they actually put the numbering a little bit past the 24 by 36 sizing. So I might have to go to the store and buy uh, one size up on my picture frame just so I could get this thing uh, posted up. But yes, here it is. 
my Michael Jordan Shepherd Fairy print. They made this one for his uh, 2009. No, wait. They made this in. Wait. Uh, not 2009. They made this one for his uh, enshrinement to the NBA Hall of Fame. So they made three different posters on this one. Um, they did make a couple variations, of course, like they did with the Kobe one. This one, the 123. This one was just, I guess, signed by uh, Shepard Fairey. I think there's another one that's going to be a little bit more hard to find, and that one actually has Shepard Fairey and Michael Jordan's autograph on here. But I'm still happy with it. Uh, I just need to go get uh, one size up. And I'll probably replace my uh, Lauren Hill uh, photo, that big black and white from uh, The Miseducation. So, uh, Lauren Hill, I think you're going to get uh, replaced. So I could just put you, uh, I could put Michael Jordan next to Kobe. So, there you have it. There is my pickup, my, my grail, my Michael Jordan. Shepherd Fairy print. There you go. Alright guys, peace out.